may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. The day of the Lord will come. As we look at these uh, prophetic scriptures, uh, Peter reminds us that these prophets not only prophesied the coming of the Lord Jesus, but they also prophesied the coming of the end of the age. I was standing in a little post office in rural Manitoba on one occasion, and uh, some crisis, international crisis, I don't recall what it was, had uh, hit the newspapers, and uh, a gentleman came into the post office and said to the clerk behind the counter, what is the world coming to? And she said, an end. When we think of the world as it degenerates, the world as it collapses, we're watching the unraveling of a civilization. One of the common responses of people all over the, the world, as I, as I visit here and there, is why doesn't God do something? Well, according to this passage, God is going to do something. But when he does something, he's going to do everything. He's going to set everything right. Peter reminds us here, the Bible is a book of prophecy. And so he sent his son. Or the scripture tells us that when he was born into the world, he, he came in fulfillment of the prophetic scriptures. No one else had ever been born into the world like this, where every detail of his life had already been pre-told how he would make provision through his death for the sins of the whole world, how he would pay the price so that anyone who recognizes that they're not ready for the judgment day, they're not ready to stand before a holy God, could receive the Lord Jesus as personal Savior. And in doing that, God would would take their sin and he would put it out of the way. He would He would give them a righteousness, a right standing before God. The point is that if Jesus, in his first coming, fulfilled hundreds of prophecies, and he said he was coming back, well, I take him real seriously. He has an excellent track record. And so the question is, are you ready to stand before a holy God?